Game 4, Eastern Semifinals. The Brooklyn Nets have their backs against the wall, down three games to none. Can the dream of defying history by doing what no team has done before drive them to victory? It's a must-win Game 4 against the Bucks. Round 2 of the NBA playoffs continue, coming right up. Game four of the Eastern Conference semifinals set to go. Welcome fans to the postseason of the NBA on 2K Sports. Along with Greg Anthony, Brett Berry, and our sideline reporter David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Hey, Dave. Thank you very much. Now the calls to shorten the NBA season continue. One NBA president has even suggested a 58-game schedule. And for the playoffs, one and done. He says there's a reason people tune into every football game. The college tournament in 63 games gets more TV money than we do in our entire regular season. The more drama, the more TV ratings, the more money. Kevin? What's not to like? Everything makes sense. Rest the players, more practice time, and all the things you just talked about. Maybe DA less is more. And thanks for the report. You look at the Bucks. And they can put an end to this series in no time tonight, Greg. And that's got to be the approach that they take mentally. When you've got a team facing elimination, don't even give them a glimmer of hope. Put your foot down right away, close it out, and get a nice rest before the conference finals. You're right. Don't give them any hope. Here are the starters for Milwaukee. Middleton, the small forward, with Giannis Antetokounmpo as the power forward. Holiday and Allen have guard duties, and it's Lopez in at the center position.
And for Brooklyn, we've got Mikel Bridges. And it's Claxton in at the center, blocking down the middle. Here's Middleton. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. That's why Middleton gets the respect from the teammates here. Adept at getting to the free throw line and attacking the inside. The Bucks shooting their first foul shots of the night here. And he can't get the first one. Well, one of the things that's great about Middleton is his ability at the free throw line. I mean, this guy is around 90% for his entire career. So he knows how to get there, and he knows what to do with it. So he comes up empty, missing both. up like that and he likes to get in a rhythm early nice triple pass to Claxton Dinwiddie outside and the three ball is good Dinwiddie's got five nice answer back there love to see the competitors yeah both teams finding ways to the three point line and trying to take advantage from distance Middleton can't get it to go well, mid-range is where he makes the money. So when the D's slow to get out on him, always surprising to see him miss from there. Here's Claxton. Yeah. Puts up a three. Then when his shot is off. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. From 17 feet out and taken away by Johnson. Oh, and a fast break for the Nets. Pushes it down to finish the break. Capitalizing on the era, grinding out points, you got to love it. That's why you can't afford to just turn it over to him because he's going to do stuff like that to make you pay just right down the throat. Gives the team such a great element, having a one guard who can get to the 10. Uh, certainly something every team wants to have. like to see that assertiveness, especially from the guy who's going to orchestrate your offense. Now here's Middleton. That three off the mark. Claxton the pass to Dinwiddie. Here in the first, just under two and a half minutes played so far. On deep. Rebounded by the Bucks. He missed that one, but I've seen him drill shots from that distance in warm-up. Oh, no, I know he can make it, but that's warm-ups. So maybe just a step too far. 
Now here's Lopez. Good, and the assist goes to Middleton. Lopez has got his second basket of the game. Well, Middleton right now staying aware of where his teammates are and hitting them when they're open. In with it with the bucket. Well, he is looking confident. Love how they're using him so far. Yeah, right now I don't see any let up. I think he's going to just keep putting his foot on that gas pedal. Here's Middleton. Over in the corner, Allen. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. Mets leading by three. Johnson finds Dinwiddie. Allen against Bridges. Back to Dinwiddie. And he drops it in from the low post. Dinwiddie's got ten. Not a ball stopper on the wing. Bridges with the help. Holiday, the pass to Giannis. Middleton for three. It's hauled in by Claxton. Brooklyn's gone two of five from three-point land here in the first quarter. Dinwiddie against Allen. Passes it to finish Smith. No good on the triple. Bucks trail by five. And the Kumbo in shot. Lopez a screen on Dinwiddie. Kumbo kicks to Lopez. Six to shoot. Holiday dishes to Lopez. That one goes in. He has seven. Lopez powering through that time. And so it's Dinwiddie who brings up the ball for Brooklyn. Bridges a screen on Holiday. Dinwiddie misses the three. Milwaukee is gone. Just one of four from three-point range here in the first. To the paint. And Brooke Lopez, the bucket on the assist from Adekumbo. Well, he hasn't missed yet, guys, and the defense is scrambling for answers to stop this hot start. Dinwiddie, the bounce pass. Johnson from outside. And again, no good by Brooklyn. Bucks have gone 5 of 9 from the field here in the first. And Adekumbo with the jam fundamental play there from Lopez spotting the open man and then sending him the ball. Johnson outside. Back to Dinwiddie. No good from outside. Milwaukee in the lead. Middleton the pass to Adekumbo. Lopez outside. The pass to Middleton. This one for three. The shot misses. Good D by Johnson. Time for some consideration in the passing category, maybe, Kevin. The shot is just not on. Get somebody else going. Back to Dinwiddie. There's the screen. Here's the three. Yannis grabs the miss. The Bucks have gotten six of 11 shots to go down so far. Pretty nice shooting. to Middleton. Shoots it up. And there are the Bucks with another bucket. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. And the first time out called of the game for Brooklyn. Finney Smith takes to Dinwiddie to end the drought. Count the bucket, and he's got a free throw coming up as well. That's just tremendous scoring instinct. So fun to watch him work in the half court. And let's get your take, guys, on the scoring breakdown for the Bucks. And, guys, I love the movement. Doing a great job of just getting the ball on a string, creating some opportunities. 
Well, a lot of the players are doing a good job as well of scanning the interior part of the paint. All those inside looks, those are paying off. The Bucs have gone 7-12 from the field here in the first quarter. Loads it up for Giannis. Scored away. Nice job to interrupt the alley-oop attempt there. Bridges outside. The dish to Dinwiddie. Takes the three. That shot is off. Now the Bucks take it the other way. They are pumped right now after a big win on Sunday. Yeah, let's give a shout out to their defense in that one. The intensity, the shot blocking, just a dominant performance. Yeah, last game was pretty impressive stuff on that end of the floor, just getting up near shooters and blocking as many shots as they did. Well, you, you have to like their work on the boards, Kevin, particularly here to start the game. To the middle, here's Holiday, and Holiday throws it down. Well, that Greek freak nickname is, is apropos. I mean, he can handle it, he can pass it. The combination of size and athleticism, what a talent. Now, here's Dinwiddie. He's got 13. Pass to Johnson. Jacks up a three. Milwaukee with the rebound. Giannis has got four rebounds in this game. And Holiday kicks to Allen. Middleton outside. Let's it go with a three. Here's Lopez, banked in off the glass. Now it's a seven-point Bucks lead. That's a battle down there. It's, it's one of the reasons Lopez has been in this league for over a decade. Solid effort. Dinwiddie passes to Johnson. That one falls coming off Dinwiddie's feet. Got to be a little bit more aggressive defending him from that range. He can be dangerous. And the foul on Drew Holiday. That is his first foul of the game. Yeah, way to get there first and be willing to absorb the contact. Nets trail by four. Here now is Dinwiddie. From the arc. And the Nets, another three. Now that's a high percentage look when the D doesn't fight over the screen. And the coach over there just asking for one simple thing, and that's some effort. Got burned on that one. Here's Middleton. Here's Lopez. And blocked the ball with his palm. What a defensive play. In the corner, it's Dinwiddie. Passes it to Claxton. Nice ball movement by Brooklyn. And Dinwiddie with the basket on the assist by Bridges. Dinwiddie's got 19 points. All these threes they're giving up have really been the driving force on this run. Allen outside, looking to end the run. Score the basket. Nice shot after missing his first attempt. And I like the back and forth here, showing confidence from range. It seems like they're going to find out who can make the deepest threes. Right now, it's a shootout. Now, here's Bridges. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Bridges sets the screen for Dinwiddie. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. That one is on Holiday. Well, Bridges doing a good job fighting hard past the foul, even after the release. First trip to the line for him here. Falls for Bridges. Well, Bridges is shooting a high percentage, and the game really does come naturally to him. Carter, he's checked in for Drew Holiday. That one falls, so he hits both of them. Well, when he gets into a groove at the free throw line, it doesn't just last for tonight. This might be two weeks, two months, something like that. Carter, the best to Lopez. Kicks to Middleton from deep three-point range. It's hauled in by Claxton. Claxton's got six rebounds now in the game. And on the glass so far, it hadn't even been close. Carter with it. On to Kumbo, a screen on Dinwiddie. Here's Carter, and the layup is good. 
And the Bucks lead by one. Well, they're trying to take command of this game, but it's been competitive so far. Yeah, everybody trying to get away from one another, and the threads are keeping them close. This has been highly competitive. Now here is Carter. Loads it up for Giannis. And taken away by Johnson. The pass to Finney Smith. Dinwiddie surveying the floor. On deep. Doesn't get a drop for him. Great D that time for Middleton. Carter dish it to Antetokounmpo. Lopez sets a screen for Giannis. Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. Well, not only being just an all-around more improved player, Giannis has taken some huge strides in terms of building his body. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. dominance in Giannis's game and what he can do, especially inside the three-point arc. It's the free-throw line that he's still working to perfect. And he's not very hard to defend right now. This is when the defense might step back and let him try to find his range. Lopez outside. Here's Antetokounmpo. Five points in the game. Just three to shoot. Allen for three. Dinwiddie with the rebound. And so it's Dinwiddie who brings up the ball for Brooklyn. Trailing by four. And again, no good by Brooklyn. In the corner, Middleton with it. Brooke Lopez has been leading the charge tonight for the Milwaukee Bucks. Scoring, rebounding. He was all over the place during that quarter. They are riding his performance right now. We'll take a quick break and then back to the action here. Back with us live as we bring you continuing coverage of the Eastern Conference semifinals. And look what we've seen from Milwaukee. What do you think, guys? Well, their effort on the defensive end has set the tone for this game. Yeah, defense has been infectious here as everybody stepping up aggressively on that end. Next trail by four. We've got Johnson. Also O'Neal out there. And it's Bridges in at the two. That's the Nets five as we get into the second quarter. Dinwiddie passes to Bridges. Over Allen. Milwaukee with the rebound. Lopez outside. Allen outside. Carter for three. His shot is good, making him a perfect two for two from the floor. That's pretty much not how they want to defend the three-point line. Somebody's got to shadow him out there. Here's Dinwiddie, and they wasted no time getting those three points back. Dinwiddie's got 22 points. Both teams running perimeter-oriented plays that are working. Well, both of them looking towards the three-point line. And I like to see that, especially when the results are made buckets. Now, here is O'Neal. Dinwiddie outside. Johnson outside. Pass to Claxton. Lopez with the steal. Allen kicks to Middleton from downtown. And he's good on the three ball. Middleton's got the lead up to seven now for Milwaukee. And how smooth is that jumper? Middleton making it look easy from the corner. Bridges with it. He's picked up by Lopez. Bridges a screen on Carter. There's the lob to Bridges. Takes the alley-oop pass and dunks it down. 
and, and maybe that'll trigger them impossible not to get pumped up after that. Yeah, well, you can see the immediate reaction of the guys in the bench. They are pumped up. Now, here's Andy the Kumbo. He has five. And there's Lopez. That's good on the assist by Andy the Kumbo. Andy the Kumbo's got four assists in the game. Johnson outside. Back to Dinwiddie. From deep three-point range. And the Nets, another three. And once again, the defense allowing him to get a clean look at that triple. He continues to do some big-time damage from downtown. Yep, that one goes. Giannis has got seven points. Making shots against good defense, that's what great NBA players have to do consistently. And if you want to be elite, which Giannis is, that's a prerequisite. And hard work on the glass. Once again, guys, they put a lot of effort and focus on the backboard. The shot by Carter. Nobody around. No good on the three. And even without that three ball dropping for him, the defense should have done more on that last play. And those are the kind of nice inside looks they've gotten here in the first half. And he's got his first chance at the line here. And some changes here for the Bucks. Portis, he's checked in for Lopez. And it's Holiday in for Javon Carter. What's shot. And the free throw, no good. Bucks leading by four. Steps back. Outside Holiday. They get it back. And onto Takumbo on the follow. I don't know where the shoulder starts and the arms end for Giannis, but it makes him dangerous on the offensive glass. Pass to O'Neal. The three and the rejection by Antetokounmpo. Claxton the pass to Bridges. Shot clock at six. O'Neal issues to Bridges. The Nets need to get a shot off here. And the Nets miss again. Milwaukee's gone two for five from three-point land since the end of the first. In the slam dunk by Antetokounmpo. Every night there's something that Giannis does on the floor where you just have to put your hands on your head. Wow, what a move. Here's Dinwiddie. From outside, off the mark. And so Antetokounmpo will bring it up for the Bucks. They lead by eight. That's the biggest of the game. Allen shot is off. For Brooklyn, they've gotten a little under 50% of their second quarter shots to find the mark. Four of nine, all told. Bridges kicks to Johnson. Nets passing it around. Passes it to Dinwiddie. Back to Johnson. From past the arc. That one falls coming off Dinwiddie's feet. Dinwiddie's got three assists in the game. Dinwiddie against Cullen. Over in the corner, Allen. Back to Portis. Fires for three. Brooklyn with the rebound. Well, the D really getting away with one there. No one on him. And that's going to be good nine out of ten times. Dinwiddie passes to Claxton. And down it goes. Jamming that one home. Oh, and he went for the two-hander on the slam using some muscle. Some urgency from him there. Sure. Holiday, the pass to Giannis. And Giannis throws it down. Every night Giannis steps out there, you got to feel like you got a good chance to win. Johnson outside. Back to Dinwiddie. With the drive. And the rejection by Giannis. And boy, have they been hitting the backboard in this game or what? Kind of surprising. It's such a tight game. Nets trail by five. And the pass to O'Neal. A three-pointer no good. The Bucks have gone 7 to 13 for the f since the start of the second. Outside Holiday. Allen for three. The shot comes out. Bridges with some nice defense. Dinwiddie outside. Feeds to Johnson. And it's Johnson with the jam. 
and credit the screen for giving him the space he needed to get to the rim. For sure, GA allows him to come in with a sledgehammer. Yeah, well, he settled for the layup when you can attack the rim and rise up like that. And the Bucks decide to take their first time out here. Watsonabe's checked in for Royce O'Neal. The Bucks also with the sub. Gonatin's checked in. to Portis. It's good. The assist that time from Holiday. Holiday's got assist number five here tonight. Some toughness that Portis brings to the court. He's willing to finish through contact. Here's Dinwiddie. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. Bucks leading by five. Nice move. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. And that's just a great individual play right through the teeth of the defense. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. Brooklyn making some changes. Joe Harris is checked in for Cameron Johnson. And Curry subbed in for Dinwiddie. Drawback to Bobby Portis in his game is that emotionally you just want him to box that in at times. But that passion and sometimes it'll really get your teammates going. Now here's Curry with three. Harris on up, one down, two points with his first shot this game. That's just a lapse right there. No matter what, somebody has to be there and get a hand up in the shooter's face. To the inside. Here's Watanabe, defended by Middleton. Pass to Claxton. And Curry has it in the corner. Stolen by Holiday. From deep, onto the Kumbo. Unable to get that one. And Brooklyn will come the other way. The feed to Curry. Harris outside. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. Now just a two-point Bucks lead. And to the Kumbo inside. Doesn't go. Only his third miss in nine tries. And for Brooklyn, they're shooting 53% in the second quarter. Good ball movement yielding good looks. And here's Harris from the arc. Nailed from three-point land. Harris has got his third basket of the night. Man, the triples keep falling, guys. That's three in a row. Launches it. And that one's good by Giannis. And the Bucks lead by two. Just how awesome is it to watch the best of the best start to dominate in a game? Out to Harris. From deep. They grab their own miss. Bridges. And it's slammed in by Bridges. Great effort level on the glass as Bridges is in there mixing it up. Over in the corner, Portis. Off target from three-point range. Brooklyn with the ball. They're on an 11-3 run. On the wing, Bridges, guarded by Holiday. He gets it in there. Bridges has got six here in this quarter. Shots are just flowing for him right now, having a really strong court. Timeout called the Bucks. Dorian Finney Smith's checked in for Brooklyn. Crowder, he's checked in for Milwaukee. Joe Ingles comes in for Chris Middleton. It's 
stolen. Oh, and a fast break for the Nets. And slam dunk by Harris. Well, that's why they're in front. Now, aggressive play at both ends. Nicely done. Portis, that's the pick for Connaughton. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Connaughton's got himself on the board with three there. You can't just stop when there's a pick set up. Got to fight over it as a defender. That's one that the coaches will watch tomorrow with that player. You hate to see him give up in that situation. And really, as the three-pointers keep dropping, you get the sense that the frustration is mounting for the defense. Holiday against Kirk. Josh contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. Yeah, Holiday focused there, and a good job of scoring despite getting whacked. In a moment, now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for the Nets. They look to fire as much as possible from outside the arc, and so far they are hitting at a high clip. Let's make sure that that selfish nerve doesn't get tapped because right now there's great ball movement. They're setting each other up. Let's see if that maintains. And here's Curry who brings it up for the Brooklyn Nets. Bridges outside. Shoots over Connaughton. And there's Bridges on the assist by Curry. Curry's got five assists tonight. He has created some terrific opportunities for himself and really made the most of it. Holiday gets the bucket. Such a smart offensive play right there. When Holiday sees that chance open up right there, he's all over. Curry fires from way outside. Rebound, Milwaukee. Portis has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. And they haven't been able to turn it into a big lead, but their rebound advantage is starting to add up. No good from Connington. The Nets with the lead. Claxed in the pass to Bridges. Harris up top. Pass to Curry. Five on the clock. Over Holiday. Another one falls for Brooklyn. It, it really turned it around here in the second quarter after shooting less than 40% from the field in the first. Seven second difference, shot and game clock. Holiday, the pass to Portis. And, and really the smart thing would be to hold for the last shot. Yeah, every second right now is valuable to you. That should be their strategy. And up the court come the Bucs on the break. Crowder with the ball. Bucket is good. Crowder's got his first points in this one. And you can't forget about Jay out there in transition and getting to the right spot on the floor. And a close game so far through the first two quarters as we reach halftime. Thanks, David. And we'll be back. Hey there, everybody. Halftime of game four upon us. And it's a close game so far for the Milwaukee Bucks. The stat that jumps out to me is their lousy three-point shooting. The perimeter is looking like a lost cause for them. Might want to switch it up. Right, because even if they start hitting those shots, threes alone aren't going to solve their problems. Looking at how the Nets are doing in this series. They're 0 for 3 in the series. Kenny, what should they do to stave off elimination? They got to take a long look in the mirror and figure out which vacation spot oh! they're going. <laughs> in other words, they're toast, Ernie. Listen, I don't need to break out the crystal ball to tell you how this ends. They have to white flag up, and the season is on the clock. A lot of metaphors there, but I, I get the gist. Uh, speaking of toast, what do you prefer on toast, Kenny? Uh, jam, no butter. Shaq? Jam, jelly. What's the difference between jam and jelly, Shaq? I have no jam, idea. Jam, no shake like that. <laughs> And that is it for halftime, folks. It is back to Kevin Harlan and the crew for the second half. And we welcome you back to Game 4 on 2K Sports.
And Milwaukee looking at who they've got. Joe Ingles is out there with Jay Crow. Then it's Brooke Lopez. Then there's Carter. And it's Holiday in at the point. Inside. Here's Bridges. And Lopez pulls it down. Lopez has got rebound number seven for him tonight. Holiday with the three. Offensive rebound. Crowder. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. And he's got his first chance at the line here. Find the lane. Find the lane. One shot. as a second round pick in 2012 Jay Crowder has earned his spot in the NBA and has been part of some very big time winning teams he's gaining that reputation as a hard nosed defender and that's what he'll keep there's a screen Thomas's shot is off Milwaukee in the lead there's the pass to Holiday on deep a rebound by the Nets the wing bridges and it's Brooke Lopez with the foul that is his first foul of the game a little over a minute gone here in the second half not been an easy start three straight misses here on these possessions and Holiday kicks to Lopez From outside. O'Neal with the rebound. Well, they're going to try to search out for somebody that's got a hot hand right now. One of four to start the half. Three pointer. That doesn't go either for Thomas. That's a big donut, folks, here. Start the second half. Four straight they've missed. Now here is Holiday. Nine points in the game so far. Lopez a screen on Thomas. Holiday gets the bucket. That's a beautiful shot there for Drew. Defenses have to account for Drew Holiday out there behind the arc. Bridges outside. Finney Smith tried to come right back with the three of his own, but it's no good. And Carter has it in the corner. Just Holiday. Outside Crowder. It's good. The assist that time from Holiday. Holiday's got six assists in the game. Looks like Crowder feels like the green light is all his on that shot. Thomas surveying the D. And again, no good by Brooklyn. Give him a little credit. Take some guts to keep shooting if you're struggling this bad. It's getting a little bit ugly right now. Lopez, no luck. Nets trail by eight. And he lobs it up toward the rim. He feeds it to Crowder over O'Neal. The offensive rebound, Holiday. That's the sixth make from the field. He's taken nine shots and missed but three. Not a lot of resistance on the inside, and they're taking full advantage. Timeout called the Nets. So for the Nets, Johnson comes in for O'Neal, and Dinwiddie subbed in for Thomas. The box also changing it up. Giannis Antetokounmpo is checked in for Crowder. Chris Middleton comes in for Joe Ingles, and Allen subbed in for Javon Carter. Allen outside. Giannis right side. The wide open look here for Holiday. Buries the long range jumper. Holiday's got a pair of threes now here in the third for the Bucks. Dinwiddie against Holiday. Finney Smith passes to Dinwiddie. Bridges outside. Five to shoot. The Nets working the ball around now. And the rejection by Anadokounmpo. 
And the length of Giannis is a problem. He's a racing shot. And he makes that one. And that's 15 points for Brooke Lopez. And what's your take, guys, in the hustle stats for the Bucks? Great job by this team closing out, blocking a bunch of shots, and just a tremendous effort defensively. Man, scoring off of turnovers is so helpful. I mean, you get easy opportunities at the rim. It devastates the opponent. They've done a great job tonight at converting on those chances. On defense, the Bucks. They haven't given up any points here in the second half. And in nailing the three there, he puts a lid on what's been a huge run by Milwaukee. Pass to Lopez. From deep three-point range. No good that time. So Brooklyn will take it the other way. Finney Smith kicks to Dinwiddie. Passes to Finney Smith. And the rejection by Antetokounmpo. You know what? He's just stone cold right now. Really not sure if he's their best option offensively as they try to get back in this game. And there's the pass to Lopez. Middleton for three. Drills it from outside. Middleton's got 11 points. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. Here's Bridges. Rebounded by the Bucks. Ande de Kumbo's got 13 rebounds in the game. Class eating. Lopez outside. Now here's Middleton. He's guarded closely. Down to five on the shot clock. They get a bet. Lopez. And he drops in the way up off the glass. He's got 17. Yeah, Brooke Lopez, if he gets some rhythm, he becomes a very dangerous scorer for this offense. Now a timeout call by Brooklyn. And the Nets making a change here. Sumner's checked in. Goran Dragic is checked in for the Bucks. Nets trail by 17. Here's Sumner. Pass to Claxton. Agic against Dinwiddie. Shoots it. And he hits the jump shot. Dinwiddie's got 27 points. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. Yeah, and the coach pretty smart for zoning in on him and giving him opportunities to stay with that confident play. Middleton for three. Another miss by Middleton. If you told me this was the kind of game he was going to have, I would not have expected them to be in front right now. Dinwiddie passes to Claxton. Back to Dinwiddie on the wing Johnson. That one falls coming off Dinwiddie's feet. Dinwiddie's got six assists here tonight. No way he's going to pass that shot off. The D is way too far back and relaxed in getting out on it. Middleton inside the three-point line. It's hauled in by Claxton. Claxton's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Pass to Dinwiddie. Here's Sumner. Lopez covering. Johnson in the corner. And a miss there with a chance to cut the lead to single digits. Bucks leading by 12. Allen dishes to Middleton. Fires the three. It's hauled in by Claxton. Claxton's got the glass covered here tonight. 11 boards for him. Here's Finney Smith. Hands it from downtown. Finney Smith's got five. It took a long time for him to get that first triple, but let's see now, though, if he can get one. Middleton the pass to on the Kumbo. The wide-open look here for Lopez, and right away they match it with a three-pointer of their own. Trying more and more to utilize the three-pointer. It's a good idea. That's his second three of the game, one in each half. 
Here's Dinwiddie, and he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. Yeah, nice, strong finish there. Nearly a three-point opportunity. The Nets have shot 75% at the line tonight, going three for four. The free throw drops for Dinwiddie. Ben Simmons, he's checked in for the Nets. Seth Curry comes in for Edmund Sumner. And both free throws good for Dinwiddie. Bucks leading by 10. For three, Middleton. And Simmons with the rebound. And there hasn't been anything easy for him in this period. No, I haven't seen him in, in comfortable spots, or at least spots we've seen in this offensive set that are allowing him to settle in. On to Dekumbo, no good. Smart anchor, it passes Greg, are really paying off for them at the moment. And also good off-ball movement. Everyone is paying attention and looking to create the best shot for the team. Curry, wide open. Giannis grabs the miss. On to the Kumbos. This is it to Dragic. Now the pass to Lopez. On deep. He can't get that one to fall. And Brooklyn will now go the other way with it. Simmons against Lopez. And Woody's shot is off. And so Allen will bring it up now for Milwaukee. It's a 10-point game. Lopez finds Middleton. Onto the Kumbo, looking it over. Back to Lopez. Just five to shoot. It's good. Lopez has got 22 points. Lopez close up and gets it done. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. Bucks leading by nine. There's the lob at Kumbo. An emphatic LU jam. Oh, and the lead gets bigger on a ridiculous offensive sequence. That dunk alone would have been spectacular. Never mind it coming at the end of an LU. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. And Middleton kicks to Allen. Here's Lopez. And the layup's good off the glass. Lopez has got 11 in the second half. I mean, already hot coming into the game. Is it fair to say he's hotter? Again, Curry missing. Well, they've been better than good on the glass today. And there is a glaring discrepancy between these two teams in that area. Middleton doing a good job of being creative and finishing a difficult look. The Bucs have shot 67% from the line tonight, going 4 6. Watsunabe's checked in for Dorian Finney Smith. Milwaukee also making some changes. Portis comes in for Brooke Lopez. And it's Carter in for Goran Dragic. One sixteen left to play in the third. Johnson in the corner. Shot to stop the run. Good, and Curry gets the assist. Curry's got six assists here tonight. And he's really shot the ball well, but, but it hasn't been contagious. For a three, Middleton. Rebound, Brooklyn. You know, he's usually very reliable from out there, but tonight it's just not going down. They set the screen. Then when his shot is off, Bucks leading by 13. Portis kicks to Middleton. On to Kumbo, a screen on Kirk. Shots good by Middleton. Well, he now has four three-pointers this game, guys. Two in each half. He's really spacing out the floor for his teammates. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. Curry way outside. Trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. The Bucks shooting an outstanding 53% for the game. Middleton against Johnson. 
Middleton looking it over with four seconds on the clock. And this is why Giannis is up there every season as one of the league leaders in dunking the basketball. Just way too easy. And as we end the third quarter, a double-digit deficit will make it tough to come back. Bucks lead by 18. Live from Brooklyn, New York, you're watching 2K Sports. And it's time to bring up the State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter form. Well, there's a way to break down the defense with the handle, but you can do it with the pass. Prime example of that right there. And we're back for more exciting action from the Eastern Conference semifinal. O'Neal is out there with Cameron Johnson. Then it's Thomas, and it's Dinwiddie in at the point guard position. So that oh, oh, that was huge! Incredible. I think Giannis loves that kind of stuff right there. His dunks sometimes get vicious. Dinwiddie against Carter. Dinwiddie passes to Watanabe. And a miss there on the triple. Milwaukee leading by 20. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. Now I tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. Free throw, no good. That one misses. Next trail by twenty. Johnson surveying the floor. Outside Thomas. That one falls. Coming off the Johnson feet. Johnson's got his fourth assist in this one. And so it's Carter who brings the ball up for the Bucks. Giannis sets a screen for Carter. Middleton outside. Buries it from three-point range. Middleton's got 20 points. How about Middleton saying, you take that... I got some payback for you right here. Pass to Watanabe. Thomas outside. Good on the triple. Thomas got six points in the quarter. And I like the back and forth here, showing confidence from range. It seems like they're going to find out who can make the deepest threes. Right now, it's a shootout. Brooklyn's gone two or three in the fourth quarter from long range. Good shooting so far. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. good on the free throw. And he sinks the second. Now Giannis. He dishes it to Middleton. There's the lob at the Kumbo. Oh, a nice defensive play to disrupt the alley hoop. Allen against O'Neal, right wing. Dinwiddie outside. Has to watch Anabe. Back to Dinwiddie. Krills the three-pointer. 
Dinwiddie's got 32 points. Yeah, and you know, he's really been one of the few bright spots for them trying to will this team to victory. Portis sets the pick for Middleton. Good on the 13-footer. They're consistently finding ways to get the ball inside and taking full advantage. Dinwiddie passes to Watsonabe. Off target from outside. He's not the guy that you want to give a wide open look from three point range. They're lucky that that one doesn't cost them. Allen for the three. That one falls coming off Carter's feet. Uh, unwilling to let up even for a moment. That's his killer instinct just fanning the flames. Yeah, he's the guy that you want to go to right now trying to put this one away. Good on the three point shot. Yeah, these defenders had better start closing down on shooting. Middleton outside. Outside Portis. Out to Takumbo trying to free himself up. And another three for Milwaukee. And Portis has become a bit more of a volume three-point shooter, settling into what they do offensively. Passes it to Watsonabe. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. Down low, here's Antetokounmpo, and the slam dunk by Antetokounmpo. And Portis knows this system well. Try to make the good to great pass. Now a timeout call by Brooklyn. And now, let's present our New Balance player of the game, Giannis Antetokounmpo. He's put on a shooting exhibition for us here tonight. He's missed a couple along the way, but it sure seems like everything's been falling for him. The only way to keep him from converting is to keep the ball out of his hands. Well, with the conference finals within reach, he was not going to let it slip away. Here's Dinwiddie. They set the pick. The pass to Watsonabe. And again, no good by Brooklyn. Bucks leading by 20. Portis, the pass to Holiday. From deep three-point range. And that's out of bounds. Milwaukee will retain possession. Middleton outside. Kept alive. Into Takumbo. Fires the three. A shot by Holiday. No good. And you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Johnson in the corner. A three. That one falls coming off Dinwiddie's feet. Dinwiddie's got assist number eight here in this one already. Got us a screen on Dinwiddie. Pass to Middleton. A three ball. Cranes the three-pointer. Middleton's got 25 points in the game. He has a lot of points from long range this half. He's taken advantage of a really tired defense. Pass to Johnson. Here's Watanabe. Dinwiddie outside. Just five on the clock. In the corner, O'Neal with it. And the Nets, another three. Nice answer back there. Love to see the competitors. Yeah, both teams finding ways to the three-point line and trying to take advantage from distance. And he lays in the alley-oop. And the Bucks lead by 19. 
signs of Atentacubo really figuring things out. His offense starting to look more and more natural. Dinwiddie passes to Johnson. Passes it to Bridges. Here's Watanabe. Here's Dinwiddie. And the Nets, another three. I mean, he is bringing his game, guys. Another jumper from distance. Antetokounmpo with the ball. He's picked up by O'Neal. As Giannis has grown in his physical stature, widening those shoulders, having more strength, these are the kind of plays that make all that hard work pay off. Dinwiddie kicks to Bridges. Johnson in the corner. And there's a whistle. That goes on Mikel Bridges. That's his first foul. Brooklyn making some changes. Nicholas Claxton's checked in for Watsonabe. And Dorian Finney-Smith subbed in for O'Neal. The Bucks also with the sub. Brooke Lopez is checked in for Portis. Holiday against Dinwiddie. Holiday the pass to Middleton. With some arc. No good on the shot. The Nets go the other way with it. Here's Johnson. Another one falls for Brooklyn. Here's Middleton. And it's Lopez at the elbow. Now the pass to Johnson. Johnson double team. Here's Bridges. And it's slammed in by Bridges. And that's just too easy. Bridges in there slamming it down. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. And while we've got a moment, let's send it over to our terrific reporter, David Aldridge. David? Hey, guys. I was able to listen to what Mike Bodenholzer told his team during that timeout. He loves the aggressiveness on D. He said, we're doing a great job of challenging everything they're trying to do. Stay active. Talk to each other. Don't let up. Kevin? All right. Thank you, David. And here's Holiday, who will bring it up for the Bucks. They lead by 14. Pass to Middleton over Johnson. Andre Kumbo trying to break loose. Giannis dunks it down. And just scrapes and claws for that offensive rebound and, and doesn't take any chances there with the put. And Jay, strong work all around. Mm -hmm. And the rebound and the stuff both. Wow. Oh, can we get a load of that one? Take that play and put it in the alley. You textbook, boy. Oh, perfectly done. You're right. He put it on a platter for him. Allen outside. Middleton for three. Brooklyn with the rebound. Bridges has got five rebounds tonight. Pass to Dinwiddie. Driving in. Again, the Nets for two. Resourceful move there. That, that was not an easy one to convert. No, showing off a little bit on that one. That's a play when your coach goes, no, no. Okay, good play. Get back on defense. Giannis dishes to Allen. Pass to Antetokounmpo. And the slam dunk by Antetokounmpo. Not surprised at all. He's shooting it well and scoring points in bunches. Dinwiddie kicks to Johnson. That one falls coming off Dinwiddie's feet. Dinwiddie's got assist number 11 for him here tonight. Bucks leading by 11. Got us a screen on Dinwiddie. The shot by Holiday, no good. And for Brooklyn, they're shooting pretty good tonight at 48%. No good there, and that would have cut it to single digits. The Bucks shooting and hitting almost everything here in the fourth, up around 58% from the field. And it's out of the combo, top of the key. For three, Middleton. Here's Lopez, and it's blocked. Well, more than capable as a defender, Bridges with a great job using his length. Let's take a second look at that fantastic block. And this is postseason play at its finest, refusing to give up shots here in the playoffs. Middleton finds Allen. Back to Middleton for three. Knocks down the three ball. 
Middleton's got 28 points for the game. It just seems like the more he touches it, the more the lead grows. Dinwiddie against Holiday. Dinwiddie drives in, and he finishes nicely on the way. Dinwiddie's got 39. And that's how you draw it up right there. A screen to shed the defense, a quick move to the bucket, and you get the lay-in. Giannis outside. He kicks to Holiday. Shoots over Dinwiddie. The shot by Holiday, no good. Nets trail by 12. Dinwiddie outside. And there's a minute 45 left in the fourth quarter. Nets passing it around. Four on the clock. Johnson, the pass to Dinwiddie. Holiday with the park. Now get that out of there. That's all timing right there. Drew Holiday continuing hustle play. And Holiday throws it down. Love seeing a point guard who can explode to the rim like that. Oh, great attitude and even a better finish. Well, just seeking out weaknesses in the defense and then exploiting it. The pass to on the Kumbo. Outside Holiday. Loads it up for Giannis. Picks it down to Middleton. On deep. Offensive rebound. Well defended that time. He's a shooter that the D has to close down on quickly when he's ready to pull the trigger. Lopez with the block. This defense gets a lot scarier when Lopez is blocking shots. Holiday looking over the floor. Shoots over Dinwiddie. On the money with the shot from the left block. And the Bucks lead by 16. But the truth is, they've had control of this game. Yeah, it looks like a veteran team tonight. Getting out on the road, playing with assertiveness, confidence, fully in control for this win. Pass to Bridges. Here's Claxton. Lopez covering. Dinwiddie outside. A three-pointer off the mark. Outside, out of the Kumbo. And so the Milwaukee Bucks take the series and they'll move on. And with the four-game sweep, they steamrolled their way through round two. All right, David, thank you. That'll do it for this broadcast of the NBA Eastern Conference semifinals. So for David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, Brent Berry, and the whole 2K Sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for being with us. We'll see you later.